Welcome back to a new data analysis tutorial. In this video, we are going to solve Pandas data analysis questions. It's going to be a hands-on coding tutorial and I'm going to solve the interview questions one by one. Let's start coding. I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code for this interview simulation, but you can use any code that you want. I'm going to go with a Jupyter Notebook and let's say like interview.rpmb and I'm going to select my kernel and also we need pandas for this interview we will say import pandas as pd and next for the data set of this interview what i created is i have a data creation txt file in here and i'm going to just paste this oh it also imports pandas i'm going to paste this data creation code in the description of this video so if you want to code the interview questions by yourself you can just take this code from video description and you can just paste it on the Jupyter Notebook and you are going to have a similar data set just like mine and for having the same data set we can say like numpy random seed 1 and also random seed 1 so we are going to have same data set right now I'm also going to save this on here too I'm going to be sharing this code so I'm going to make this run and here we have our data frame ready also I will say data frame that had like this and here we have our data frame so you can both look at this table for solving the questions that I'm going to ask or you can just use this code to create a data frame by yourself and in here we have order ID customer ID product ID category quantity unit price order date payment method and total price we have both text and numeric columns also we have like the date column and great so we have a data set about e-commerce and we can start with our interview questions i'm going to make copy paste on the questions because on the previous videos i was just reading and viewers wanted like see the questions so the first question is going to be what is i'm going to make a markdown object what is the total revenue generated per category? So you can stop the video for trying to solve it by yourself or you can just watch the solution. Let's start with the first one. I'm going to create something like revenue per category and it's going to be data frame group by. For finding the revenue per category, we need to group it by category and we are going to take like the total price in here next we will say sum and for making it look better we can say sort values and ascending false let's see what we have in here we have electronics clothing home and books in here with the total revenue they generated great let's continue with the second one also i'm not going to create like variables for all of them you can use both this strategy or you can like the write the code after the equal sign like this okay our second question which product has the highest total sales revenue so for that what we are going to do is we are going to say data frame group by and we are going to group it by product id let me quickly take a look on the data set again data frame that had two here we have okay so i just decided to do this every time before the solution because it's going to be easier for people who is not going to call with me just make the solutions on a text based editor or maybe on paper so okay total price and after that what we are going to do is we will say sum and next we need to get the maximum index so i will say index maximum and in here we can see that we are okay i have a typo so i will say product id like this now we can see the product id of the product with the maximum index great it is a solution for our second question and here is the third question we have how many unique customers purchased more than once? 
So for finding that, we will say data frame group by, we are going to go with the customer ID and we are going to take the order ID. And this time for the aggregation function side, we need to use number of unique like this. Next up, actually we can go with saving on this one. Let's say this like purchase count. And after that, I will say repeat the customers actually let's say like purchases actually counts like this repeat customers we will say purchase counts purchase counts again and it's going to be greater than one we will use that count after that so with calling repeat customers we are going to see the number it's 25 great and if you want to see what out of 25 we can say data frame shape 100 is the total customer number and 25% is repeated. Great. Our next question, data frame had two and I'm going to create a markdown cell like this. Which day of the week generates the most sales? So for that, let's start with creating a column as day of week since we have date column in here, but not the days. We will say data frame day of week and it's going to be data frame order date dot date time dot day name like this next up we will say sales by day and we will pass data frame group by we are going to group by the column that we just create in here day of week next up what we are going to do is we will take the total price like after that we will say that sum and for seeing today directly we can sort the values that came from here ascending false so here i'm going to just call the sales by day here it is so we have day of week thursday is the clear winner great and by the way this returns a panda series the group by with an aggregation function so let's say that you want to find the sum of these values. You can simply pass sum on this and you are going to see the total value. And also what you can do is, let's say that it's a panda series. And let's assume that you want this as a data frame. It's so simple. I'm going to show you in a second. You can simply call reset index on this for getting this as a data frame. Okay, great. So let's continue with our next question. Data frame had two. And next up, I'm going to create a markdown. Question number five. Show top three categories by average order value. For that, we will say data frame group by category. And we are going to go with the total price again next up we are going to say dot mean as aggregation function since in the question it's asked the average order so we will say sort values ascending equals to false next up it's asking the top three so we will say head three and this is going to be our response next question data frame head two so I'm going to create the markdown like this and a question is which payment method is most popular among repeat customers so remember that we have something like purchase counts I'm going to be using that so let me show you the code of that again here it is data frame group by customer ID order ID number of unique I'm going to be using that for this solution and I will say repeat customer IDs and it's going to be equal to the purchase counts. Next up I will say purchase counts greater than one and I will say dot index. So it's going to return me something like repeat customer IDs, something like this as index of this filtering. Next up I'm going to say repeat 
data frame is going to be data frame we are going to be filtering the our general data frame we have customer id we will use is in next i will pass repeat customer ids and after this we are going to have this repeat data frame which is the values that customers of the making purchase more than once next up we will say repeat data frame payment method and we will use value counts and we can say let me make this run firstly for finding the maximum we can say that index maximum like this and it's going to be debit actually we have two winners on this side we have 227 values like both the debit and the gift card so that's why i go with the value counts at the first place and here we have debit and credit and for the answer side we can say head two on this and see the leaders great our next question i'm going to paste it in here identify any outliers in total price using intel coil range and i will call data frame head two again and let's solve this firstly we are going to set the quantile one like let's say data frame total price dot quantile 025 and let's copy this and for setting the quantile 3 we will say 75 next up let me show you what this returns q1 is 172 q3 is 872 and for the entire choir range we will say q3 minus q1 and now we can go like outliers is going to be data frame we are going to make a multi-filtering operation so i will use parentheses data frame total price less than and i will say quantile 1 minus 1.5 multiplied by entire choir range and after this what i'm going to do is i'm going to say and like this and we need to say the second condition like data frame total price greater than q3 plus 1.5 multiplied by inter -choir range and after making this run we are going to have our outliers let's call them here is our outlier value it is the right side on the curve okay so let's continue data frame head 2 and here is our question number 8 find the average basket size items per order for that we will say data frame group by order id and we are going to take the values of quantity next up we will use sum and next we will say actually let me make this run firstly and after this we are going to call mean and here is our result so let's continue with the question number nine data frame head two and our markdown which they had the highest total revenue okay let's do this firstly i'm going to say order date only and i'm going to say data frame order date dot date time dot date next up i'm going to say daily revenue and it's going to be data frame group by order date only and i'm going to take the total price next up i will use like that sum and next up what we can do is i'm going to say maximum day like daily revenue let me show you the daily revenue firstly we will say that index maximum like this and here we have this day with the maximum value of daily revenue that maximum great question number 10 this is going to be our last question i'm just going to copy this one and it is the 
find the top five customers by total amount spent. So data frame had two. Let's solve this question. For that, we will go with group by again, customer ID. We will take the total price. And next up, what we are going to do is we will say sum and we will say sort values ascending false and we will use head. By default, it shows five, so we don't need to specify anything like five. And here is the result with the customer IDs. Great. That was it for this interview exercise. And again, you can find this data creation code in the description of this video. Let's get to the outro. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I have a playlist named interview tutorials where I have more than 10 interviews just like this one. You can reach that playlist from the cards of this video or from the link in the description. Also, I'm sharing a new data science video every week on my channel. You can subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great day.